Hi there guys, today I'm going to show you something I found very cool. First of all, I've been using these uh, NeoPixels. I'll link the number in the description. And these are not the best ones, these are just uh, the cheap ones. There are diff three different types of this uh, NeoPixel if you want. And I got these off eBay. And these are the ones with six connectors on each. So, what I have done with them... Well, I have an idea of lighting up my stairwell at night, because it's very dark and very poorly lit, and I don't really want to turn light on, because then you get awake and... oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I imagine putting one of these on each, or maybe two, on the staircase on each stair, or maybe every second, and have them light up as I go down, or go up again. And uh, I've built a prototype. It looks like this. Basically you have a button right here, and you have a button right here. You have, in this case I used six NeoPixels uh, for testing. And uh, I'll show you how I uh, wired them in a while. I got everything hooked up to a ordinary Arduino Uno. I might switch the project to uh, using a Nano or maybe one of these a Probe Mini, depending on uh, the size of the project. But the, the unit is really great for just testing. I got a battery pack. I'm just going to hook it up to uh, my protobot while you're watching, because I've, you can see it's turning on. And it might be hard to see on camera, but the color is purple, and it's turning off again. And right now the color is very, very low. It's not a, what should you call it, powerful color. It's just, just average uh, in power. So you won't get this uh, blinding effect. Uh, but imagine these, this is my staircase, this is down below, and this is upstairs, and when I need to get up, I click this button. And it lights up the stairs. Instead of 6, I might just add 20. Uh, I haven't even counted the stairs yet, I wanted to get this to work, and you saw it turned off. If I'm upstairs and want to go down, I just click this button, and it starts backwards. It waits a while to let you get down, and then it turns off again. Uh, a few modifications. You could actually use some sort of sensor to detect when you pass uh, the end instead of a button, or instead of a timer, but uh, I think you could just adjust the timer to your needs, so if you're going to take, well, this is set to 5 seconds, so it's turning on, then it's counting to 5, and it's turning off again. So, if you have a longer staircase or need more time, you just adjust it accordingly. There we go. Let's take the power off, and let's check out the code. So let's skip this guy over here. Oh, uh, where's our desktop? There we go. And, yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to copy-paste this entire thing and open uh, Mono Develop. Uh, just because it's easier for you guys to see on video. There we go. And let's just clear this. We're not going to save anyway. And let's zoom. I do believe this can zoom. Indeed it can. The entire library is uh, something I found on Adafruit. And again, thank you very much Adafruit. They have provided some of the best libraries around for my projects. And this one is called New Pixel H. As you can see, it's included right here. And the entire thing I got here is actually one of the examples that comes with the library when you download it from uh, from GitHub. I just modified it a bit. 
and uh, some of the things I changed. Well, I think this one actually says 16, and I just added the number of pixels here. That's just how many pixels do you have. So I talked about adding 20 pixels. Then I should write 20 there. Uh, these are my two buttons, my lower and my top. Of course, I refer them to the number on the Arduino, uh, the dig digital input. And uh, by the way, it might be hard to see, but my button is hooked up uh, with a resistor to pull it down uh, when you press. And this is calling the new pixel or defining the pixels. Um, I haven't changed anything of this because I haven't really any clue what it does. Of course it clearly defines what type of pixel and uh, you're using RGB colors or GRB. <laughs> <coughs> but I just left it as, is, as it came from uh, Adafruit and it's fine. Then uh, the int delay valve, this is the time between each lamp goes on. So you saw it turn on, it wait, turned on, and it waited, turned on, etc. The same when turning off, so that's half a second. The pause value is something I added, that's the time before it's completely starting to turn off, or yeah, just turn off basically. So when you're up, it waits 5 seconds. We got our main setup. It begins the pixels. That's this one up here again. It defines two buttons. That's my buttons from up here. You can see top and lower for input. And then I run this void called run once. Guess what? It runs once. <laughs> it's uh, the color setup you saw in the beginning. You saw the purple color. That's this one. And I have written two voids. I have one called pixels on and I have one called pixels off and they both take input. And you can see we have this delay. Pixels on, I'll go through that in a minute, but basically it it says uh, turn on or off, up or down. And these three just define the color. So you can see we're using 10, we could also use 255, but that would make the pixel very very bright. And that's run once, so it turns on and it turns off. And then we have our main loop. Basically we just have a digital read on both buttons. And if one of the buttons is called, we're going to run this one or this one. That's it. And again, all the magic happens in this void called pixels on and pixels off. And here we have the five second wait time from up here. So, pixels on. Let's go to that right now because it might be confusing. Well, we have it right here. Pixels on. Integer up or down. That's the input it takes. It takes four inputs. First, are we going up or down? Then color red, color green, color blue. And then I have a switch case inside. Are we going up or down? And the only difference is because this for loop, uh, which way should it count? You can see here we're counting from 0 to 6 with plus plus. And here we're counting from 0 to minus 1 using minus minus. And the reason for minus 1 is because 0 does not count when you're counting down in the library for some reason. But uh, minus one works just fine. And then it actually just does what the example showed us. It shows us pixel set color for pixel number i, which we are counting up here. Color red, green, blue. So when I'm pressing the button, it says this is one. Then we go down, case one. And that's down from the button and up and then it's a 0 red, 10 green and 15 blue and that's the colors defined here. Then we show the pixels that's a, a, a function in the library you need to call it when you want to show something and then you just wait between uh, that the wait between each uh, light of course. The opposite one is a uh, 
sorry about that. This one, we start with the number 6 pixel, and then we subtract 1 each time, and the new color, it's actually doing the same thing, except it's doing the opposite direction, as you can see. And you can see the new color is uh, not set. Well, sorry, that's the on thing. <laughs> Still on if you're going from upstairs and down. Sorry. Then we have our pause, then we have our pixels off. Our pixels off just take one integer, going up or down. That's because we need to turn the lights off in the same direction as they came on. And you can see for going up, we are counting 1 and 1, and if we are going down, we are going counting 2 and 2. So, the turning off is exactly the same, we just set the color to 0, 0, 0, as, so that's black, meaning no color. Show the color, show the delay, everything is turned off. So, hooking up the battery again, let's see, ground, voltage input, it's powering up, it's, it's doing the self-test again. And so, when I click the button, I get the command pixel on, and it goes through the cycle. It waits five seconds. It goes through the cycle again, where it sets the color to zero, zero, zero. That's how it works. I will post this code on. Uh, in the link in the description, and I'll also draw up a uh, what do you call it? Blueprint. <laughs> Let's call them that this time. A circuit di diagram. Yeah, uh, for this circuit. And before I go, I just want to show you one of these new pixels. How I because when you get them, they look like this, and they are put on a piece of. PCP like that. But what I did was I soldered out three legs. As you can see, there's three legs on the input side and the three wires on the output side. So we got a ground, we got a signal, and we got a power. Uh, this is, of course, just for testing purposes. Uh, for the real case, I would use uh, some more heavy duty wire and uh, I'll probably encapsulate these things in a piece of plastic, so you won't be able to touch them. Uh, or maybe some sort of uh, tape, so you only get the the small uh, output shown. Uh, these are very good, because unlike many LEDs, uh, these are not showing uh, output. You're not able to get shocked from the front of these. Uh, of course, this is only running a 5 volt at... 0 0.04 amps, so it's not really going to do much anyway, but uh, just in case, you never know. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.